5 seconds to go start mr vice chairman sir these two bills now coming before us are coming after a big talk throughout the country by the government that major electoral reforms are being brought forward by the government but i find that such a big effort is not being made by the government on this fundamental question mr minister while explaining the objectives and reasons behind this legislation stated that in bringing forward these amendments the government had taken into account the total experience of the last 50 years and on the basis of that experience these amendments were being brought forward he also claimed that they held consult consultations with the opposition political parties too and that they held consultations in their party also and after taking all these things into account they had brought forth this legislation sir before i go into the details of these things i must say that the election commission is going to be a body which is absolutely neutral and they are going to supervise the elections in the country i do not want to say anything about them but the reason given today for not holding parliamentary elections in states my humble opinion does not stand to logic only that much i want to say because i do not want to go beyond that coming to the other question of elections it means that maximum democratic opinion has to be mobilized for those who are to govern the country but the experience hitherto has been the central government has had democratic elections that under the present system of elections with 30% of votes the electorate enables you to rule the country sometimes it may be 33% or it may be 40% that means that majority of the electorate opinion is not giving you support to rule the country therefore our party all along was saying that election should be based on the principle of proportional representation which is also called the list system what are the merits merits are many the main thing is that the country will be ruled by the will of the majority of voters that is one thing and the second thing is that the significance of the caste or community of the candidates in election will not come into play it will not be said that we belong to this caste or this community stop